Honorable President of India, Madam Most Respectful Draupadi Murmuji, Honorable Union Minister of Culture and Tourism, G. Kishan Reddy Garu, and Honorable Minister of Telangana State, Srimadhi Satyavati Rathur Garu, Sri Justice L. Narsimha Reddy Garu, President Kesha Memorial Education Society, Functionaries of the Kesha Memorial Education Society, Distinguished guests, all the dignitaries, important dignitaries who are occupying the first few rows of the hall and my beloved students, I am really very happy to be here. And it is a great moment to share the dais with the first citizen of our country, the proud moment. And this is the situation we are all were dreaming to our younger days. During our younger days, we wouldn't have passed a single class without asking this, answering the question, who is our president of India? And when we are attending a program with the president of India, that is a great moment in our life. And when I went to receive her yesterday, she, very proud moment as a women president, she was entering the Telangana state. And as a women governor, the first citizen of the state and the women minister representing the state government, receiving her, I was telling her, this is a proud moment, women empowerment, <laughs> which our leaders who fought for the country were dreaming about. So I appreciate the Keshav Memorial Education Trust for marking this occasion, not only as Azadika Amrut Mahotsav, but liberation of the Nizam state. Because when I went to Bayarnapalli, a very painful incident came, happened in Bayarnapalli in August 27, 1948. August 1947, we attained our independence. But after that, this state was not attached to our country. But one thing, I appreciate the organization for marking this occasion because we are lauding our Iron Man, Sri Sardar Vallabhai Patel. He said when everyone conveyed to him, Hyderabad is not with us, he told Hyderabad is in my hands. So that is the conviction he had. Before the Operation Polo itself, he decided Hyderabad will be in our hands. And he asked the rulers whether you want your head or your crown. That single word made them to bow before our country. So with all, we are very happy and we are expecting the great moment of the delivering the address of our Honorable President. And I want to convey the youngsters the independence we, which we are celebrating, the Azadika Amrut Mahotsav, as our Honorable Prime Minister said, the whole year will be celebrated. Previous year also we celebrated. And we are celebrating the unsung heroes who shed blood for the country. So the gratitude which we show on them to make our country the topmost in the world as Vishwa Guru, as was the dream of our elders who fought for the country. And now it is becoming true because we are going to head the G20, which is the proud movement of our country. And as our Honorable Prime Minister said, the India's history has been rewritten with a proud movement of electing our Honorable President, Madam. So by seeing her, we will see, make her as our role model. And as it is said by the, in, in the introduction speech, a downtrodden person. I am very happy I associated, I accompanied her yesterday, the way he was talking to the tribal community. And there was a very big crowd, villages were, see, were, con, were uh, in a crowd see, to see her. Because of security reasons, they were confined to a place. You won't believe she got down from the car and moved towards them and she greeted them. That was a great movement. A president with all the security arrangements. She got down the front after, because she got into the car. And after that, the villagers were telling me, we have not seen the president like that. We wanted to see her 
in person, but he got down from the car. So this is the uh, pattern of living. This is a, the role model. These, uh, these are the, the great leaders with good role models so that we can acquire their characters. So this is the dream of our each and every leader who shed blood for our country. Let us follow their footsteps and let us exemplify in our activities, in our academic activities, very good wishes for each and every one. Thank you so much.